traitor's fate. Two years before Takeda Shinjin's invasion of Macau province, the Oda had been occupying Kyoto and controlling the shogunate power over the Kansai region. With Awari, Makawa, Mino, Kansai, and Omi provinces all seemingly under the Oda's control, the clan was at the top echelon of Japanese society for three years while in Kyoto. With Ashikaga shogun Yoshiiki under the whim of Oda Nobunaga's word, the clan managed to reform the Bakufu state. Meritocracy soon replaced the dated clan status privilege system under the Ashikaga and created a system where qualified warrior retainers under the Oda clan were eligible for open government positions suitable for the individual task. Other reforms included giving retainers lands based on rice production output rather than land size to keep track of the taxes that were being collected for the clan. These reforms would revolutionize the way shoguns would rule Japan, but not everyone in Kyoto were fond of the changes. Yoshiiki, the puppet shogun, had been devising a plan to oust the Oda out of Kyoto. He began meeting with rival daimus that scorned the Oda and saw them as a lower-rung clan with some luck on their side that weren't fit to rule Kyoto, much less the shogunate. The major clans plotting with the puppet shogun were the Asakura and the Osai clans. The Asai clan's daimu Nugumasa had previously married Oda Nobunaga's young sister named Ochi in 1568. After Nobunaga captured Minu, in hopes of securing a powerful ally in the Omi province, Nobunaga was wrong. The Asakura clan had been close allies with the Asai for generations. And so both Daimus and the puppet shogun had been exchanging messages back and forth to figure out when would be the right time to lay siege on Kyoto. Oda Nobunaga instructed any messenger delivering any message for Ashikaga Yoshiiki to bring the message to his attention first, or raise severe consequences. As such, Oda Nobunaga quickly figured out that the shogun's attempt to reclaim power was to invite and incite other clans to come lay siege on Kyoto in hopes of slaying the demon king. Oda Nobunaga was having none of it. Nobunaga quickly mobilized his troops to march north into Echison province, and due to the Asakuras being unprepared for invasion, led to Nobunaga naming Hiroyoshi as chief general to lead the first castle siege at Kenikasaki. The Azai sent reinforcements and tried to come around and behind the Oda force to perform a pincer tactic which surprised the Oda as Nobunaga was vulnerable to being killed or captured. The Asakura and Asai clans fled, and the Oda tried to devise the next course of action against the opposition. The Oda plan consisted of continuing the assaults on the castles of Echison, but as the Oda tried to advance into castle territory, they were met with hostile resistance by the Iko Iki. The Iko Iki were a rebel sect of fundamentalist Buddhists, that believed in Jodo Shinsho or pure land belief, meaning no land specifically belonged to a sole individual. This philosophy went against recognizing any shogun or daimu as a ruler over any lands except those of Buddhist teachings, and they were willing to die over their way of life. The Oda received an overwhelming amount of hostile resistance and casualties from guerrilla tactics by the Ikoiki, and decided to abandon the rest of the castle sieges planned in the Echison province. Oda Nobunaga's frustrations focused solely on the Asai and Asakura clans for now. Nobunaga had sent word to Makawa province for Takagawa Iwasu to bring reinforcements to Echison, which Iwasu responded by bringing his best generals and troops, which included Honda Tadakatsu and Sakakibara Yasumasa, who I will make a separate video on in the future. This became the Oda and the Takagawa's first time being in combat together and the two would find out what kind of samurai each of them were. The Oda force met their rivals at the Battle of Enigawa, which the battle setting was in between a ravine. This battle consisted of 28,000 troops under the Oda's command, and 18,000 by the anti-Nubunaga coalition. Hideyoshi was instructed to be the general commander, leading his first open battle of his military career. Oda Nobunaga brought 500 Erechibus riflemen with him, and used it effectively against his enemy across the ravine. As both sides charged into it and around the ravine, an epic battle ensued. War cries, metal clinging, and gunshots rang out for several hours into the evening. Oda Nobunaga almost died in the process of commanding his riflemen. Once the rival army had retreated, 
The smoke cleared in the air, and the katanas were being put back in their scabbards. The samurai practice of collecting trophy heads commenced with the wikizashi blade. It is recorded in the Takagawa clan's war entries that approximately 3,170 heads were collected by the Oda force, but that the Takugawa collected over two-thirds of the heads. The Takugawa clan became pivotal in the Battle of Enigawa, and the Oda might have not have won if it wasn't for the help of their loyal retainers. The Oda chased the Asakura clan around Echisen for three years, and finally Asakura Yoshikagi was betrayed by his cousin and was forced to commit seppuku at Rekabu Kenshoji Temple wiping out the clan's existence. While the Oda were on the hunt for Yoshikagi, Nobunaga decided to turn his attention on the Eco rebels for some old retribution. He went to Mount Hiei, near the Kyoto border to Enryuku-ji Temple, and began slaughtering every monk and student he saw. He then burned the temple infrastructure to the ground. After, Nobunaga marched south into Omi to take care of the Asai turncoat. Nobunaga laid siege to Adani Castle, where he had heard Daimu Nagamasa's location was. Nagamasa saw that his forces couldn't defend the castle. Thus, he committed seppuku. The demon king, after taking the castle and seeing his dead rival on the floor, could still not let go of the Asai betrayal. Nobunaga asked his younger sister where her oldest son was, and told her he wanted to nurture the child for himself to eventually become the future ruler of the Asai clan. Ochi told Nobunaga, and he proceeded to go behind her back and kill his nephew. Legend says that Oda Nobunaga treated betrayers much differently than upfront foes, as it is said that he collected the heads of his traitors and made drinking cups out of their skulls to warn anybody under his command about the penalties of betraying the demon king. This fear tactic is still up in the air as fact or fiction, but either way, it's still incredibly fucked up. As this chapter closes for the Oda, another epic one is about to begin, which would dictate which clan and Daimu were fit to unify Japan. Mm-hmm.